Bakersfield. If you want to experience a career with a fast-paced, family-friendly environment, visit BauerInfrastructure.com. They have top-of-the-line benefits year-round work, even through the winter. Bauer, usher in the new era of infrastructure to an area near you. And as always, go Big Red! This is the happy hour. You guys are on the happy hour? Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America. Yeah, I'll maybe I'll come for a couple. Here are your hosts, Nick Sainert. I want to know what it's like to commit a crime without having to spend time in jail. And Enrique Alvarez Cleary. C is for junk. Brought to you by Empire Fence and Netting on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Welcome in. Happy Thursday. A Thursday that is very windy outside. A Thursday that honestly on Wednesday felt like a Thursday. So it feels like part two of Thursday. But it is Thursday. Welcome into the happy hour. 93.7 The Ticket. The Ticket FM. Dot com. Nick Sainert here. Rico there. What's up, Rico? Hello. How's the day? So far, so good. Hanging in there. Rico is, is hanging in there. We are on the stream. If you have not found that out yet, you can still participate in the show. 402-464-5685. The Honda Lincoln Hotline and the Sarder Heyman Text Line are both open for you guys. The Royals, who may be one of the hottest teams in baseball. That's what they say. Are uh, playing on the FM dial right now. They got uh, their final... I believe it's their final um, match against the uh, Houston Astros today in a homestand. They're trying to go for an undefeated homestand are the Kansas City Royals. So uh, we'll see if they're able to get that one going uh, later today. They, I, beat the, I believe they, they topped the Astros something along the lines of like 11 to 2 yesterday after walking off uh, Houston the night before. So Kansas City. Even though their bullpen wasn't playing well or throwing well at the start of the season, here they are. They've made some some comebacks, and, and they're looking like a, a competent baseball team, which is a good thing for everybody here around Lincoln. So oh, look, they look like a decent baseball team. That's, like, what, that's what Nick's saying. They look competent. They look competent, which at times last year and even at times this year, the bullpen didn't look competent. Unlike your Cubs. They're 7-5. and five. Garbage. Um, nonetheless... Once again, 464-5685. Honda Lincoln Hotline, the Starter Heyman text line, and most importantly today, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and Allo Channel 961 are places for you to see what's going on inside the studios on a sunny Thursday. Rico, we have a lot to get to. First off, we're going to discuss Northwestern as they're playing their games for the 2024 and 2025 seasons in a uh, practice facility that's right on the lake. Big fan and, of that. And so we'll, we'll talk about that. There's going to be some temporary stands. It's going to be kind of an interesting venue. Nebraska won't have to worry about it specifically, and that's probably a really good thing because how Nebraska many, Nebraska would probably take it over. Um, how many people do you think they can fit in the practice facility? Well, we're going to find out. We're going to find out here in just a couple of minutes. Uh, do then they it, sell beer at? No. No, they will not. I doubt. Will there be concessions? Concessions. Stance? I doubt it's concessions. So sad. It's probably going to look a lot like COVID, where it's it's family and friends. It's probably going to be family can go to the games, and Dang. and that's probably about, Talk about home field advantage. Um. Well, for there's there's the family allowed for the road team, the visiting team in there. So, uh, nonetheless, and then at one thirty, uh, you guys know the story with Shohei Otani and his interpreter. And if you don't, be prepared to learn. Uh, Shohei Otani, his interpreter, stole a lot of money from him. Initially, they thought. It was four and a half million dollars. And Shohei's like, yeah, you know what? I didn't notice that that was out of my account. I didn't um, know. Which is, which is understandable. A guy that just signed a, a $700 million deal who has a net worth, according to Forbes, a, a little over $50 million currently. Um, I could understand. Okay, maybe you, you miss out on, on four, four and a half million dollars. But the number that uh, Ipe, who is Shohei's interpreter, just got charged with. This is, I mean, he he pled guilty and he he is charged um, officially in the L.A. court. The number might shock you, so stick to stay tuned. Uh, we'll talk about that at one thirty. So yeah, once again, Northwestern playing their their majority of twenty twenty four and twenty twenty five home football games. They will play on a on campus stadium, a temp a temporary on campus stadium in Evanston, Illinois, where it will play the majority of its games. Uh, while Ryan Field, 
is being reconstructed. The university continues discussions with other Chicago area stadiums to host some of the 2024 games. And we'll know more of those in the, the spring. I feel so, like it'd be just, it would be better. It, I'm, no, it would be better to just play at a high school. I disagree. I disagree. Really? I, I think, I think, I, I, I believe- think you, you are, you're a big 10 power conference institution. You, you need to play at either. You, you got to remember like the you're turf management in a practice facility. I understand, but you got to talk about turf management, mm-hmm. how the field Send is taken care of. Hey, you, okay. You really think that their field was that great anyways? Ryan you, Phelan? Your players complain about the, the well, grass, grass length all the time. But that's it's a grass field. You're going to have that. Uh, like Nebraska, on their practice field, they switch to grass. Yeah. Grass also technically is, is most of the time safer. It is. It is. But no, but I'm saying they always had, you heard the players talk about how their grass was always taller. They never, they didn't, they didn't cut it the way that everybody else was cutting it. And maybe it's their preference, whatever. But like, I feel like it would be better instead of a practice facility where you're going to have hundreds of people, you could go to a, I, I understand you're a big time, you're a big 10 school, but at least playing at a high school, you'll be able to get more fans in the stands and have more of a football feel, a football game feel, as opposed mm-hmm. to a practice study. I was going to say Soldier Field, but you're probably going to have to pay uh, a disgusting amount of money to rent that out for a you, couple of you, Saturdays. You're probably looking at Wrigley as one of them. Um, Soldier Field you talked about. Which would be cheaper, Wrigley or Soldier? Because Wrigley, you're going to have to do all the... You're going to have to switch yep. it up. Yep, which they, they've played games. They've played regular season games in Wrigley before as well. They played, uh, what was it, Iowa last year at Wrigley mm-hmm. Field. Then there's always usually a bowl game in the baseball stadiums. Um, what if the Cubs are still playing? The, the big deal is here that Northwestern, they do play four Big Ten opponents at home that are all within driving distance. Ohio State, mm-hmm. Wisconsin, Illinois, and Indiana. All just say scheduled a- to play at Northwestern. Just play at their home stadiums and just say that it's a, just say that it's a home game. Yeah, exactly. Are we doing this now? Yep. What? All right, let's Jake do this makes now. Two appearances. Yep, we're on the roll. Oh, on. on a roll. On we're on a roll. Sorry, Nick. It's he's right. not. He's not sorry. I know he's not. <sighs> we were going talking about Northwestern having a, depending on where they were going to play. Can't hear. Well, fix your headphones. Hello, okay. Jay. Hey, guys. How's it going? Can you hear me? Doing well. We can hear you. What was the conversation you were having? I'm sorry N- to North- interrupt that. Northwestern. Northwestern oh, football yeah. playing at a practice facility. And and they have to host Ohio State, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana. You're not worried about the Illinois, Indiana folks as much? No. Ohio State, Wisconsin, you're yeah, probably a little concerned a little bit, about. Kind of. A little bit. But, I mean, the, the new stadium is going to be cool. It's whether or not they're going to play at Soldier at some games, Wrigley at some games. I don't know the Chicago areas enough. But I it won't, it won't other, affect Nebraska, though. Does not for so 2024 why do we or care 2025. Then? Because it's going to be Listen, a... Are you a Northwestern fan all of a sudden, Nick? Didn't no, know I'm that. not. Let's I'm just not. say it's Northwestern. Like the purple I, talk, white. I talk about the Dodgers, and I, I absolutely hate them. Yeah. Well, I mean, Jake, what if what if Northwestern's having a, a decent year, and, they hey, have to, and, they're I, hosting, I and they're hosting Ohio State? Ohio State's doing Ohio State things. You're going to want to watch can, that game, right? Okay. Can't sure. I be, can I be honest here? I'm, I am a David Braun fan. You should be a David I, Braun I respe- fan. I respect the crap out of David Braun for the way he re- he revitalized that program after all the stuff, and he actually led him to a pretty successful season. Bigger question: cameras for TV broadcasts. Where do they go? Got to, you have to have Ohio State Northwestern on TV. Has you to have be. to. Big Ten Network, Illinois Northwestern. It's a battle for Chicago. Here's what I know about TV: <laughs> they always find a way. If necessary, they're going to find a way. So why don't you, in fact, just be happy? They got to be creative, and it's, it's not just hey, you're going here because you've I, always gone I do, here. I do appreciate. I like the fact you get to work for it now. I do appreciate the fact that Northwestern is building a new facility. Yes, you should. I like. I. I I've never been to Ryan. It Field. won't change their football program success at all. You don't know uh, that. Dave, I do know David that. David Braun will change that program success. Last time I checked, they still have high academic standards they at do. Northwestern, and they NIL do. is difficult for them, so they are going to die in this this time frame. You know who has high uh, academic standards? Who? Other schools, not as high as Northwestern. Stanford. Have they been good recently? No. Duke. Uh, Duke has been good. North Carolina. They will, has they will high suffer academic. now without now Leonard, without, without Mike Elko, yeah, and and, and the yeah. quarterback's and gone. Leonard. So Duke had their one low run. run there. Yeah, it's over for them. Uh, Jake, you brought treats. Well, let's let's go back to last Friday for a second because I 
<laughs> Maybe rudely. I don't know if it was rude. I barged in the studio. Yeah. And because you had a bag of unsalted cashews, I did. which still bothers me to this day, and I never, I might never get over that, actually, that you intentionally purchase those and are eating them. You're crazy, man. But here's something. I'm bringing in something that's actually good today. Yeah. So why did you have to go back to last Friday to bring this up? Because I barged in the studio back then. Okay. Because we're Jake talking about only makes, you barged yeah, in. Jake, we're talking about me barging in. Yeah, okay. Jake only makes like one appearance on a happy hour a year. He's made two in the last two weeks. Right, this is getting scary. Yeah, please get S- scary. go back to one. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you want to be no, part of the no, show? No, actually, no, I'll no, barge actually, in when I want here's to. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Actually, now this is made up for the following two years. So we're good until at least 2026. Oh, yeah. Well, here's, right. the, here's the good news. I, I bring in, I come bearing gifts today. This show is called What? The, the Happy, Happy Hour. Hour it is Thirsty Thursday, which the drive will enjoy beverages from Kevin true. Meyer. It's true. Meyer's Pork and Bottle. Why, yeah. why can't the Happy Hour crew enjoy some beverages also? I would love so. I would love to. Earlier this morning, uh, we had Marty stop by. Marty Roper, courtesy of, let's get the actual name 100% right, Salt Mine City brewery in david city mm. okay on the way to columbus you stop by david city right Got it right david past city. seward it's about an hour away from here maybe I drove about an hour from yeah. Like yeah. so that highway he, 15 he provided uh several different beers and we, we're going to try two def- two different ones here though we got mm-hmm. the single axle so i'm going to crack one of these off there thank you go. you go ahead rico yep slide her over thanks this Jake. is uh an american oh. lager Check that out. Folks. It's got a great looking can. It does. That's one thing about salt, uh, you know, salt mine city. I keep thinking Salt Lake City. That's why I get confused. Yeah. Salt Mine City and Brewery in David City. Uh, check it out. It's downtown David City. Been open for a couple years. He told me they have 30 Yo. different beers. Dang. 30. Salt Mine City. Salt Mine City. So we got some t shirts he dropped off, got a couple of stickers, and of course, provided us <laughs> beer, which is that, wonderful for the happy hour and the this, thirsty this, Thursday. This tastes like Nebraska. That's what he told me. He said, he, I can't say what it tastes like, like yes, but yeah. it tastes like that beer that is we, we can't say very popular in this state. Uh-oh. Yes. Cheers, Nick. Cheers, Jacob. Rico. Bar Rico. Cheers there. Cheers, gentlemen. Yep. This is for Northwestern football. Apparently. Death. Ooh, that is good. It's delicious. It's delicious. And I love, I love the logo. I love the truck. For those asking, uh, no, you cannot buy this in stores. It's not like it's not. Uh, it is canned here. They have cans at the actual brewery. You can't buy this right now in Lincoln anywhere. Dang. But soon enough, you might be able to buy the Hello. cans. But if you're trying to buy Dang. single axle, which is de- absolutely delightful. This is very very good. There's very no good. there's no very, bitter taste at very, all. It is very good. This is what Strick would call a patio pounder, and you could pound these very much so. Strick would, would pound this on his patio outside near the golf course. Uh, speaking of a golf course. This would be delicious this, on the yeah, golf course. Yeah, exactly. Patio pounder, golf course pounder. Oh, my goodness. One of the, all those things. I could down this. I mean, we're talking like one every other hole. So this is again called the Single Axle American Lager, courtesy of Salt. I keep saying Salt. Salt Mine, Mine City. City. Yep. I keep thinking Salt Lake City. I know. I know. Salt Mine City. It's Salt Mine in City. You're mining David salt City in, in David City. That's right. Salt Mine City salt Mine Brewery City. in David City. Um, but again, you cannot get these cans anywhere yet. Soon enough, maybe you can get those in Lincoln. But if you're looking for this uh, at Myers Cork and Bottle or somewhere else, you can't find them right Not now. But yet. hopefully, soon enough, we will have that. Dang. Okay. So what's I'm, our what's I'm, our response? What's our well, thoughts so far? On, I I love this on single axle. I love the single axle. Um, big fan. I, once again, I love the 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 wrapping. The 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 actual can it is yeah they did a great the job truck the is can. great big fan of trucks you're, you're the looking logo at is good 4.3 percent which isn't too too aggressive right it's you, just you tastes can, incredible it's great for a a summer day mm. right or or spring when it's like yesterday would have been perfect it's a little more chillier today because the wind a little windy but yesterday when it got up to 80 degrees oh. to get home and just sit in a lawn chair out on your driveway or in your backyard and just crack one of these babies picture this nick this is what you want to do picture this nick you're sitting out on our little patio out here. Oh, you could do that without that this, is true. without this wind. Sun's beaming down on you. That's true. You just crack one of these open. Maybe I could talk to Marty about getting some cans here. There available. it is. Maybe, oh. maybe not other places, but just the ticket. Just the ticket. That might be something just we look exclusively at exclusively at the ticket. They got a I'm lot. Not sure that's new going up, but we'll talk. About it. I'm just saying, football football comes down. Everybody's down here walking to the stadium, which is right down the street. And you pick up a can of single axle. I have a, a question before we get our second beer. Uh, from the, I, I don't have access to the text line right now, but Texters, 402-464-5685. Two-part question. First part, have you heard 
of Salt Mine City Brewery in David yes. City prior to this. And number two, have you been there? If you if you have, have you been there? Two part question. I'm, I'm, I'm four, looking six, at four, their... five, six, eight, five. I have not been there. I regret that because I drive by David City all the time. Yeah. Going to Crofton, and you would too. I say we drive through, up to Orchard. We drive through David City all the time when we go up to Orchard. Yep. yep. So we both have failed here. So <laughs> I'm not, yeah. not failing anymore. We have it right here. Yeah, we know. So I'm going to stop by and get some the next time I go up to the farm. You should. So Salt Mine City formed in 2022, started with a vision to grow, to brew great beer with great friends and to share our product in a new and exciting way in the David City area. Salt Mine City goal is to brew the best beer for a growing community. Um, that is right. Once again, single axle is what we're enjoying. We'll post a picture of the cans because even the next one that we're gonna we're gonna yeah. test out is delicious. By the way, quick backstory: Marty Marty Roper again is the the yes. founder, the owner of the brewery. Shout out to Marty. He is originally from he, he was he was lived in Hastings for a while. Then he was in California for a while. His wife wow. is oh. from David City. That's why they formed the brewery wow. in David City. But potential well, expansion in the future. Yes. I'm not gonna say where at or when, but just saying, watch out Same. for potential expansion. <laughs> Of Salt Mine City Brewery. If you want to check it out, it, it's www.saltmindcity, all one word, obviously, dot com. Um, if you want to give them a call, ask some questions, 402-367-5099. Looking on their website, a couple of their beers that they have, the single axle, obviously, that we're, we're enjoying right now. They have the Brick Street Amber Wheat Beer, a three-mile corner, uh, Mrs. Bumstead, which is a smooth blonde ale. That's great oh, yeah, for everyone. That, Ooh, that sounds, sounds really good. I love blonde ales. And if you're a porter, I, it I, says, I like blonde ales. It's true. It's true. That's a fact, Rico. I know it sounded weird, but I um, like blonde ales. <laughs> Jake likes blondes. <laughs> that would understand. Blonde ales. Makes sense with a lot. Oh, so you yeah. don't like blondes. I like blondes too, but I like blonde ales. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say Elizabeth might be listening. Wait a um, minute, she's the, a blonde. The, she is a blonde. A uh, big rig porter, and they did the description. I like this. Just the best damn porter around. Yep, I want that. That's that is what it is. Look, it short and sweet. Keep it simple, like me. Oh, so there okay. you go. All right, how about number? Should we try beer too? You guys can yeah. finish those beers at a different time if you'd like to, or chug them here again. I will absolutely. All right, finishing it. Rico, camera over here. Number two. Oh, here, uh, slide, slide it over here. Oh, because he's got a set up. Oh, pass it down. Pass, pass it down. Okay. Ah, here we go. So yeah, up next, fall. up next, our second beer, and it's our last beer of the day, is uh, <laughs> of, of the show at least, <laughs> is King Danny Boy Irish Red Style Ale. Now, Nick, is this on the website? Do you have a description was, for this was, on the website? Was, I can't. I, hold on. I could probably find it. If okay, you it's called the Danny Boy. And, okay, on this can, you've got uh, some soldiers, it appears. Yeah. That is probably what it they appears are. It, it appears. Danny Boy. He says. <laughs> Oh, Danny boy. This is, again, courtesy of Salt Mine City. This is a brewery in David City, Nebraska, about an hour away from Lincoln. So if you are thirsty today and you want to, I was told also, open seven days a week. Ooh. Open at 11 a.m. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I think 1 or 2 p.m. Monday through Thursday. So they are officially open right now. I, well, I, I don't. I, so when he brought these in and I, I was able to meet Marty as well when you were talking to him. And I was telling him. Yeah, I should have done that. I was, bad, I was no, asking him about these. I got you. I don't know what to expect from an Irish red mm. style. It's pretty good though. Wow. I'm not sure. So this one's a little bit a little bit heftier, 4.7 where the uh, single axle was 4.3. Mm-hmm. That tastes like something else that I've had. Delightful. It's it good. Like. Yeah, it's good. Oh, it's very good. This is 2 for I was, 2. I was expecting this reminds it reminds me of something but I can't put my finger on it. I'll be honest, I was expecting it to be maybe a little bit heavier even though it was an ale. I was expecting it to be a little bit heavier. Oh, the can feels the same. But wait, is it? Yeah, I'm with you, Rico. It tastes like something good. Yeah, it's good. What is that? Irish red style ale. Mm-hmm. I'm try yeah. I don't think I've ever had an Irish well, it's red. Good. But I would have it. It's enough. very good. Maybe like a kill candy possibly. That's a Scottish beer, but I'm I'm trying to think like, like so I, 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 I go I go down to McKinney's and I have Irish beers all the time and it tastes like something I get at McKinney's which which is a very huge compliment by the way to yeah, very much so Salt Mine City in if David Mc, City I feel like McKinney's could make some money off of this I may, um, I, may, I might talk to those guys yeah. man they're friends so so once again it's the the Danny Boy Irish Red Style Ale oh Danny Boy yep. man. So know, there guys. is there's two more he provided. I'm not bring, they're in crawlers. Those are some big boys. So we got a hazy IPA, and then we also had um, a Vienna Lager, which is you can get that at uh, Salt Mine City. But those are for another is day. It, mm-hmm. Man, this is gonna bother me because I, I want to figure out what See? it tastes like. Because I'm like trying to go through my palate, which is not very experienced or seasoned, no. if you will. But like I'm just trying to rattle off beers, and it's like it's not it's not Coors Light, obviously. It's not a Coors Banquet. It's not a 
definitely not Miller Lite. This is much I better than a Miller. I, I wouldn't say that it's any of the. It's not. It's, it's not, not a domestic. One of those, it's not a domestic. There's something that this reminds me of that I have Wait, enjoyed it, it, it's before, a good thing. and it's delicious. Oh, it's 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 it's, it's um, incredible. These are both delightful pairs. Yeah, yeah Marty Huge made a good choice bringing these two down. Once again, the single axle and the Danny Boy Irish Red style ale. Uh, single axle, just a, an American lager. Once again, this is from uh, Salt Mine City Brewery in David City, Nebraska. Once again, not available anywhere other than the Salt at Mine City point. at this point. At this point. But I did, you can. I just did a little research, guys, from right here at 1040 O Street. If okay. you were to go to David City, it's to Salt Mine City Brewing, it mm -hmm. is a 51-minute drive. Not even wow. that long. So not even an hour. Not even that That's long. a quick trip. That's not bad at all. Quick trip. Uh, Jake, while you are in here, uh, once again, we'll talk about this in a second. While you're in here, we got to talk Masters. How about my boy Ryan Fox? Yeah, How's he playing? He he's leading. He is? He picked him? I, he was my tier six pick. Oh, oh, oh hold on. Hold on. One the, Royals, the Royals are up big. The Casey Royals lead 5-0 in the first yeah. inning. Yeah. Sorry about that. Jake Eisenberg's probably I'm, having an I'm, aneurysm I'm having on our a great station. Time. I'm having on a our great station time. right now. Ryan Fox, 500 par through 10. Uh, that's impressive. Anybody playing poorly? I like to look at the, I like to look at the guys playing bad. Gary Jake Woodland, six over. Jake likes to look at the loot. I like wow. the carnage of the Masters. And uh, Gary Woodland, a U.S. Open champ from a couple years ago, is is six over par. Now, he's recovering from a little brain procedure he had. He yeah, had, a, had a whole which one is, yesterday, which is did, awesome. Which is a, a, you know, a bad thing. But he's, he's, on the, he's feeling better, which is good. Ryan Fox will not win the Masters. Uh, that's Nick, okay. So, you know. Bryson DeChambeau, live golf, is three under par through 12. Which is, you know, okay. We Tiger Woods is going to tee off in about an hour, I think, from right now. Is that right, Nick? Yeah. yeah an hour and 20 minutes you can see Tiger Woods play. Uh, and this and this actually will be on actual TV in yeah. 28. But 2 o'clock is when the golf is officially well, on fully in the broadcast. Anyway, it's, it's an interesting point, right, to think about. Okay, so Tiger's got a lot of adversity. All the people that, play, that tee off in the afternoon now, because they're not going to finish. No, they're not. They're not going to finish. He's going to have to get up, tee off early tomorrow morning, take a break. And then tee off again in the afternoon. I think Tiger's. Good. I think Tiger's probably looking at getting to fourteen or fifteen holes today. That, that's. I mean, yeah, he's going to have so. probably the last three doesn't finish, and then you got you know think about those, those. Those three are sixteen, the par three over water. Seventeen is a tough par four, and eighteen is a tough par four. Do they have like a hard cut? Like you have to be done. Like you can't golf after this time. I don't know if that's in place. They're going off basically when it says sunset is, and, and just before that. Um, no lights on the course. There's no lights on the course. <laughs> I would, have, I would, that guess, would, that would devalue. I would guess it go, so go to about seven thirty p.m. Eastern time, six thirty our time is my guess. Have you that. ever played night golf? Yes. Is it enjoyable? Yes. Because so, you get, so you get here's glow the in the dark golf. Are no, you no, saying no. with lights in the course yeah, or, with, or yeah. not? Lights? No, no lights. Because so there's a place down in Arizona, yeah. which I just actually booked a tee time for. It's called Grass Clippings. I told you to do that. I recommended that to you, by the way. Not that course, but to play night golf. Did you actually? Welcome. I did. I don't, I don't remember this, honestly. You said, oh, I'll do that. So Thanks, I booked Nick, it. The plug. And it looks really cool. <laughs> it I looks you, really I cool. I gave you free beer. And you're and not I really my appreciate plug for you. that. I really appreciate I not. I don't appreciate you as much as I appreciate Marty. Smart. Marty, salt mine. I could have taken that beer back home. Salt but mine I provided to you and Rico. Well, he's still got three left of each. Yeah, I'm going to take those back to the fridge. I, yeah, please I do. Need, you need to give me one because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink these while I play video games tonight. Okay. I can do that. Which one do you want? Uh, the single <laughs> axle. First one? Okay. I'll do that. Uh, yeah, yeah, so shout out to the Masters. Uh, Tiger Woods, we just hope, makes the this cut. Is, this is going to be so enjoyable to, to drink while watching the Masters. Do you think Tiger makes the cut? No. Aww. It's unfortunate. I think Tiger, he's, he's never missed a cut, right? I think he's made every cut ever at the Masters he's done. He, he withdrew. That he's finished playing. He the made first. the cut last year and did not play because it was crappy weather on Saturday. He withdrew, I think, early before mm -hmm. the round or after the round, did not mm -hmm. play. But... Uh, yeah, he, okay. He made he played Saturday and withdrew halfway through the round because he was playing like crap. If he, Dang. if he does have to, if he can't finish his holes today, tonight, and he has to play a couple tomorrow, then take the break and then do his second round, is that gonna like That's hamper bad for his him. hamper? That's like, bad for him. Your thoughts on him making the cut? Yes, absolutely. By the way, because uh, his body, like he can't. He can't do that. No, he's he's in trouble. Can I get an update, Rogue? Before I know we're yeah. wait, we're late on break here, That's fine. but we're stream. Yeah. We are on the stream. Yeah. Uh, the Royals are break. playing on the FM. And right now, Rico, uh, this is uh, – and Nick. The Royals have no, seven okay. runs in the first inning. Who are they playing? The they're Astros. Playing the, the, Brown, the Brown. Okay, the Astros. Hunter, well Brown, be the Hunter Brown is pitching for the Astros. I've never heard of Hunter Brown. So far, his, his stat line, after today. two-thirds of an inning, uh -huh. eight hits, 
Seven runs, Dang. no walks, no strikeouts. He's looking like a Nebraska pitcher. He's getting mashed. Get it? Get it? Because they sucked against Kansas. So Royals uh, on a six-game win streak. Jeez if they Louise. finish this off, it's a seven-game <laughs> you, you win don't streak. Even, I mean, on, let's be honest. You don't even need to worry about the bullpen at this point. You just need a, a decent start. Brady, is, is it Singer today? Brady Singer has had some issues with run support, as did every pitcher the last couple of years. And now he goes the second inning, already one inning deep, and he's seven, up seven runs. Well, That's that, a good feeling, Rico. Look, Nick, you worry about run support. All of a sudden, you get a bunch of runs. Is he going to? Is he going to oh, not man. value his pitches that's, as much? That's Vinny. And it was Vinny again. Vinny with two RBIs. Ah, I almost picked Vinny up in the fantasy baseball, but I didn't because he's been Vinny, struggling. Vinny Pasquantino. Austin was filling me in, Jake. Vinny Pasquantino. 9-0. 9-0. Yeah, Vinny Pasquantino had an, ins- had an insane day yesterday at the plate. He did. He had five RBIs. And here, here, he's got two already. I do have yeah, Bobby Witt just hit a two run home run to make oh it nine to zero. I do Bobby have Michael Witt. Garcia on my team though. He's two for two with two runs scored and two RBIs. Nick, question for you as a baseball expert as you are. Yeah, I'm giving you that. Thank you. Wow. Like, you help with baseball Look people. Thank you, Jake. Well, it, when you are the manager of the Astros, this, this, at is, this, a, point, this is. I mean, not at this point, but it, by the sixth inning, if if you're still scoreless and you're down no, ten I'm, or I'm more, say, I'm saying you. you were, your pitcher has given up ten hits in the first inning. Ten. Well, you, you try to do get, you get him through get, one inning and you, pull you, him, or you, you try s- to get through try to get through just, like two innings here. Uh, a lot more is pitch count. Like I don't I don't have his pitch count in front of me. Uh, I got it. He's <laughs> thirty three pitches. See, that's they not have bad. ten hits yeah, on thirty three pitches. That's that's, that's that's not bad at all. They're swinging so, early in the zone. So I would. I mean, you're attacking a, a fastball early count. I mean, so I would I would see if he can get you through two or three innings, settle down. Um, but if you're down, you know, 13 0 in the Salvador seventh Perez just got a hit in the seventh inning. If you're down by more than 10 in the seventh inning, that's when you bring in a position player and just throw some meatballs. Over I would play. say maybe it's time for that now. No, you can't. Everybody, you cannot get through nine innings of play. So everybody that has maybe Jake Martin that has an at bat besides Kyle Isbell, of, Kyle Isbell has a hit. This is the first inning. Check, so people. everybody so, has scored a run except for Salvi. He just got his first hit. He was 0 for 1. Watch this. Watch this. Uh, Jake Myers is not in the starting lineup today. Yeah. Former pitcher at Nebraska. Maybe Jake he should Myers. pitch. Maybe, maybe he, he was a two-way player. In there in the second let's, inning. Let's see if Jake Myers, Myers gets back Jake on the Myers mound. Myers on the mound. That's, Former Husker. This is one of those games that the Royals don't win this game now. Like, it's going to crush him for the season. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, there's nothing the, wrong with the Cubs nine just had an eight-run eight lead and there, lost there's, it. There's no, re- there's no worry for eight-run leads blown. Oh, yeah. We don't care about that. It's now, by the way, 11, it's hit, it's 11 hits in the first inning. Eleven hit. The Royals have more hits than the Cubs have had. Probably in four games in a row. That is not true because they scored eight runs. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, 11, 9 0 Royals. <laughs> you just, you 11 just hits in the first inning. You just that I think out. we might need to bring Austin in and have let's, him talk about it. Maybe get, we let's, will. Let's get a break. Let's and get, I'm going to sub out. Uh, once Austin again, comes in. Salt Mine, Salt Mine Brewery, or excuse me, Salt Mine City, a brewery in David City, Nebraska. Try out the single axle. Try out the Danny Boy mm. Irish Red Style Ale. Both will knock your socks off. They're delicious. Uh, not too powerful in in, in uh, the alcohol volume, if you will. So uh, go ahead and try it out. David, David City, Nebraska. Appreciate Jake interrupting us with some beers. Happy hour. Talk to you guys later. We'll be right back. Community means something different to everyone. But for me, it means cheering on those around you during the good times and helping them out during the tough times. I'm softball player Jordy Ball, and I've been blessed with the support of my friends, family, coaches, and community throughout my life. When looking for a bank to call home, it was easy to choose Midwest Bank. I never feel like just another customer, and they're proud to support their communities. They love what they do, and it shows. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Hey, Nebraska! Register today for the 40th annual Cornhusker State Games, taking place July 11th through the 21st in Lincoln, Omaha, and other Nebraska communities. The Cornhusker State Games features 70 sports for athletes of all ages and abilities. Price increases are approaching, so register early and save. For details, go to CornhuskerStateGames.com. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel with Gatorade. Brought to you by Pepsi-Cola of Lincoln, a proud partner of the Cornhusker State Games. Spring sports are here and it's time to upgrade your equipment. But don't go rush into your big box store. Play It Again Sports is your place to go for all spring sports equipment for baseball, softball, golf, and disc golf. Play It Again Sports has quality, slightly to gently used equipment, and 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And don't forget, buying from them is a great way to get new products with great discounts by also bringing in your used items for store credit or cash on the spot. Play It Again Sports at 48th and Vine. 
power combo bogo? Huh? Yes. If you purchase an air conditioner, you receive a furnace completely free. At John Henry's, our professionals want to ensure you are comfortable in your home all year long, no matter what Nebraska has to throw at us. Call today to schedule your free estimate and learn more about the free furnace waiting for you. Give John Henry's a call today. 435-5555. John Henry's plumbing. Heating and air. And electrical. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in April. Try their brand new cake batter cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. And try the caramel latte as 10% of proceeds from that drink will go to the foundation for Lincoln Public Schools. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Homeowners, is your yard in distress? Is your lawn being held hostage by stubborn and unruly weeds? Never fear, lawn lovers. Weed Man is here. We'll rescue your lawn and restore its beautiful emerald green glory. The results of our expertly applied program are sure to impress the toughest of critics, your neighbors. Take that, Dale. Vanquish weeds and transform your lawn this year with Weedman Lawn Care. Get 50% off your first application. Go to Weedman.com today. Terms and conditions apply. Go to Weedman.com today. It's officially one of the greatest weeks of the year on the sports calendar. Masters Week. Book your tee time today with friends, family, or coworkers at Double Eagle Golf inside the Kinetic Sports Complex on West O Street. Doors open at 10 a.m. from Thursday to Sunday, and they'll have food directly from Augusta National, like pimento cheese sandwiches, Georgia pecan caramel popcorn, and lots more. Plus specialty drinks to get you in the mood for the greatest golf tournament in the world. Book a bay today at DoubleEagle.Golf. School tells you all about the Four Seasons. Spring, summer, and so on. And then there's a way we really tell what time of year it is. Sports seasons, football season, baseball season, or even off season. Well, what's the chocolate season? Well, it's now, of course. And now, and now, and always. Whether you're looking for a caffeinated pick-me-up on the way to work, a little snack on the way home, or you need the perfect gift that's sure to be appreciated. It's time for the chocolate season, y'all. 40th and Old Cheney. Or order ahead at thechocolateseason.com. See you there. Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy. We make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way. Pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure. Pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Bleicher and Professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Services Ambassador online at prg-ne.com. It's the best time of the year to order a new John Deere sprayer during Landmark Implements Fast Start Early Order Program. Leverage the industry's latest technology with Sea and Spray to target weeds in season, in corn and soybeans, and use less herbicide per acre. Utilize Exact Apply to save in chemical usage and prevent over-application. Now is the time to lock in the best price of the year during Landmark Implements Fast Start Early Order Program. Contact your local Landmark location for full details and experience the Landmark difference. Attention all Wings fans. 89 Cent Wings are back on Tuesdays at Buffalo Wings and Rings in Lincoln. Enjoy the best wings in town for boneless or traditional at a price that makes the whole family happy. And now at the Williamsburg Village Wings and Rings, you can enjoy $1.50 Tall Boys in Bud Light, Coors Light, Bush Light, and Michelob Ultra every day after 7 p.m. and all day on Sundays. Get to Wings and Rings today and make sure to stop by on Tuesdays for 89 Cent Wings. Not many businesses can say they've made it 60 years, but Madsen's Bowling and Billiards can. With 12 bowling lanes in the biggest pool room in Nebraska, where else would you go to enjoy an afternoon or evening? There's a great daily specials like $2 Tuesdays, games of bowling, shoe rentals, draft beers, and tacos, all just $2 each. Have a delicious burger at EJ's Lounge before or after your bowling or pool session, and you'll leave satisfied. Madsen's Bowling and Billiards at 47th and Dudley. You're listening to The Happy Hour with Nick Sainer, Furby the Fourth.
ate his first solid food today, prompting a response of nothing but steaks all week for the Nebraska offensive line. Then Enrique Alvarez Clary. No more peaches and carrots for Herbie the Seventh. Baby food be damned. Sponsored by Empire Fence and Netting on 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. Welcome back into the happy hour, 93.7, the ticket, the ticket, fm.com. We are hanging out on the stream today. The Royals, nine runs in the first inning, which oh, is the you. boys are hot. Yeah, we bring it off Norman, a different voice, a different voice than Jake Sorensen. Appreciate Jake. We're bringing in the single axle American logger from David City, Nebraska, Salt Mine City, Salt Mine City Brewery in David City, Nebraska. Austin, cheers. Cheers. You got, you're cracking open the uh, single ale. Single. Single Cheers, axle, senor. yep. Single axle, excuse me. Single axle, which is the American lager. Yep, I'm about Very it. Good. I'm about it. I, th- I told, I characterize this as the patio pounder. This is one yep. where Strick would say it's a patio pounder. Yep. This is also one where I could, if I was a golfing or at a baseball game, mm-hmm. we're talking one every two or three innings. We're oh, talking yeah. one every other hole on golf course. For all my fellow nerds out there, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pounding this while playing some Baldur's Gate three tonight. Ooh, I'm, a, I'm, a get, nerds. I'm about to get the act two on some single axle. This is the perfect middle ground between the Royals and the Astros today. The Royals are double yeah. axle. The Astros are zero axle. You're right. <laughs> there's that. Um, there's also you need to pass the time because now that ball game is going to take a while <laughs> or with nine runs in the first inning. Brady, so you Singer, know work, Brady Singer works pretty quick. Though, he does. So. But you need something to, yeah, to enjoy. Won't. <laughs> you, need, you need something to enjoy in the middle innings. This is it. The single axle. This American law. What is the record for most hits by a team or a single player? Because if the bats stay hot. Well, you have to. Okay, like, so there have been some guys that have had seven hits in a game. Uh, most hits in an inning by a team. American I'm, League record is 14. NL record is 16. Ah. Most consecutive hits is 10. I don't think they did that. So they got close. No, because no, Isbell. Because yeah. yeah. Salvi didn't, and then Isbell didn't. They so. had 11 yeah. hits. Just off. Um. Okay, so in a nine-inning game, um, looks like 31 hits. There's already one, out, already one out in the top of the second. Brady Singer, <laughs> former Storm Chaser. <laughs> perfect, um, perfect day for Brady Singer to be pitching, too, with the wind blowing out. It is. Your best ground ball pitcher. Brady Singer. Um. Is it what does the farm system for the Royals look like, Austin? You are seeing the extent of the farm system when you go this to is Omaha. It? <laughs> I don't, I don't when, if you take a trip about. up to Omaha, I'm not saying you specifically. Okay. <laughs> I'm saying anyone. When you go up the road to Omaha to watch a game, you see the extent of the Royals farm system. <laughs> There's really not much there. Maybe Blake Mitchell a little bit down the road. They're their last uh draft pick in the first round last year. Maybe he's something, but yeah, it's not not that exciting. Not really a lot going on. I mean, for losing 100 games last year in 80 and 90 some yeah. a couple years before that, bare cupboards. They haven't well, they haven't done what the what they, the Orioles have done. They got a six. They not. They're they're in the midst, midst of a six game set um, against the Gwinnett 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 Gwinnett. Come on, Stripers know how to mm. say these things. Gwinnett Stripers. I really do like what ma- minor league baseball has done to cut down on travel costs. Just have yeah. those six day might as well series, then have your travel day and play the next one. I, I agree. Might it's a well. lot, but yeah. I get it. Um, yeah, Storm Chasers tonight, six thirty five p.m. Gwinnett, mm. Gwinnett, Gwinnett, Gwinnett. Come uh, on, yeah, so like Gwinnett County in Georgia. I'm not sure. I also, yeah, it, it's interesting the six game set with minor league baseball because then it's like you have teams are are at home one week, on the road the following week, mm-hmm. and weekend. Back at home, on the road, right? So it's just alternating every single one. Yeah. So, um, all right, let's uh, move on to something else more pressing, um, and that is Shohei Otani. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this. I have not. Uh, so it, a, a tweet came out from Alden Gonzalez. I believe he's with ESPN. Out of out of uh, ESPN, uh, he says Ipe, right? I believe Muzuhara. Shohei Otani's longtime interpreter and confidant, confidant has been charged with bank fraud after it was discovered that he transferred more than 16 million from Otani's account to an alleged illegal sports book. Federal authorities announced 
in L.A. court. That's more now, than they said before. That right? is that is much more about four times as much okay. of what they said before. I say, wasn't it like four, four five? and a half? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Four and a half. It was like, oh, that's a lot. So now front office sports just uh, replete or excuse me, announced this stuff. Ipe, his account placed about 19,000 wagers mm. between December 2021 and January 2024. Yeah, but how good was he? Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. Oh, <laughs> I got the numbers right here. Yep. The average wager amount was $12,800 per wager. Goodness gracious. The largest wager that he placed was 160000 Okay, on Ooh. what? Do okay. we know? No, we do not. Oh, I want to know because I want to know how good he did. The smallest wager, well, you'll find out. Oh, okay. The smallest wager was $10. Oh. The- Jose Canseco now following me on Twitter, by the way. Is that right? <laughs> like the actual? Wow. Nonetheless, the total losing bets, $182.9 million. Oh, <laughs> he lost $182.9 oh. million dollars on wagering. That's a lot. The net losses, once again, don't forget, he, he took about $16 million. Mm-hmm. The net losses. $40.7 million. Mm, whoops. From Shohei Otani. How? This is also a guy. Do you not know as, this? As I, was telling, as I was telling Austin, this is also a guy that was getting paid around half a million dollars annually for being Shohei Otani's interpreter. This was a guy that, that followed Shohei, not followed, hung out with Shohei nonstop ever since he moved to the U.S. Mm -hmm. He was with him side by side. They drove to the ballpark together. They rode away from the ballpark together. He was, they ate meals. They were basically best friends. Let me tell you about my best friend. Jose Canseco followed Austin on Twitter. Like the actual Jose Jose Canseco (laughs) followed Austin on Twitter. What did you tweet? Nothing. I literally have just been liking tweets about the Royals pouring down the Astros. Did you, did he tweet something? I have not liked a single tweet by Jose Canseco. Says you. I'm pretty sure a few years ago. I was followed by Jose Canseco. Did you just ad- admit that it happened? Hold on. Except that it happened? I don't, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Even that you could show me. Did you tweet about OJ Simpson today? Because he's going off today on people talking about OJ Simpson. Oh, did he, did he no. follow you to DM you? I don't know. I was seeing a message request. No, oh. I haven't tweeted about OJ today. I'm gonna follow Jose. Just to see my if last, he follows me. my last retweet was um, Strick getting cut by Omaha CBA team. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. Dang, he's like, I know Strick, Jose Canseco. Do you think Strick knows Jose Canseco? I do want to ask Strick who's the coolest person he's ever met. Well, he's gonna say you. Oh, well, don't blame him. Don't blame him there. So, so yeah, okay, Ippy, hold on. Before, before we get in, before we get back into that, just to say on the Jose Canseco, a few years ago, uh, Jose Canseco was giving tours. In Las Vegas to go look for aliens in the desert. That's right. And we called and tried to make a reservation with the girl who answered. No way. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can find it. We can't play it over the air, but I'm going to see if I can find it and play it for you guys. And for anybody that remembers that, it was on the old drive. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Man, that was, that was an interesting call. <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> That is incredible. It is 1.53 p.m. We probably do need to take a break. Uh, when we come back, we'll bring in Strick. Ask him the coolest guy he's ever met. Because Strick's, we'll see if he knows Jose Canseco. Yeah, we'll do it. that next coming up on the Happy Hour. Where will your path take you, traveler? To seek fortune in a new career? Or on a journey to distant lands for a well-deserved vacation? Wherever you go, one distraction could spell disaster. You can change your fate, adventurer. Don't drive distracted. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. If you're a homeowner or a business owner, you have a lot of projects, and no one has an unlimited budget or time. Sunbelt Rentals makes all jobs less stressful with no need to purchase large equipment or hire a crew. You can do it yourself with rentals and everything from aerators and power rakes for spring yard work to stump grinders, concrete mixers, tile saws, and more. Check out their inventory in Lincoln, north of Cornhusker Highway on 56th Street, or online at sunbeltrentals.com. Hey, Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska's always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. 
NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. Go Hog Wild Pit Barbecue. If the week's been too hectic to even think about dinner, or your family can't handle one more night of leftovers, then it's time to let Hog Wild do the cooking. Hog Wild's family packs are one heck of a good deal for a complete barbecue meal loaded with all the smoked meats, tasty sides, buns, and sauces you need to feed your family. Order online at GoHogWild.com. Hog Wild Pit Barbecue, 3210 Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late, we close at eight. The need in our community if you just look at the numbers, it's frightening. We're serving over a thousand kids every day. With the passion of our people, I really feel like our potential to be of even greater service to kids and families who are struggling is just unlimited. But in order to have the greatest impact, we need all the help we can get from the community. NIPCO is hiring CDL drivers for Ready Mixed Concrete, Husker Concrete, and Beatrice Concrete. NEBCO offers great pay, medical and retirement benefits, paid time off, and they pay for CDL training. Apply today and start your new career with a $2,500 hiring bonus. From NEBCO's beginning in 1908, it's the employees that have formed the company's solid foundation. Start your career today. Visit NEBCOinc.com. That's N-E-B-C-O-I-N-C.com. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. This is Coach Bill Bush. You all know my passion for Nebraska. Having coached all over the country, I can honestly say there is no place like Nebraska. You know where there's also no place like? Midwest Bank. Midwest Bank has proudly served Nebraska for over 70 years, and they're located in nine different communities. Midwest Bank is ready, willing, and able to meet all your personal, business, and agriculture needs. Your community, your bank, and mine, Midwest Bank. Find out more at Midwest Bank. Member F-D-I-C. Your business runs like a well-oiled machine. It's important that your actual machines do too. Stern is here to make sure you don't have to worry about that. They provide solutions for heavy equipment and automotive fuels, lubricants, and equipment guard options. And with Stern's commitment to customer service for the past 40 years, you know you have a partner to help support your operations for years to come. Contact Roger at Stern Company by calling 1-800-477-2744 or visit them online at stern.co. Stern Company, where problems meet solvers. <gasps> the milk, coffee, and tea. Formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. Hey guys, it's Bill Bush. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty has opened a new location in Pender, Nebraska, in addition to their office in Lincoln. The real estate world can be confusing, so why wouldn't you want an expert helping you every step of the way? If you're looking to buy or sell farmland in Nebraska, Kansas, or Iowa, give Ethan Sorensen a call today at 402-380-0432 or visit them online at nextagrealestate.com. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty with locations in Lincoln and now Pender, Nebraska. You're listening to the Happy Hour with Nick Sainert. A gorilla bear versus polar bear. A what bear versus a what bear? And Enrique Alvarez Clary. A gorilla bear versus a polar bear. Polar bear. One more time. <laughs> gorilla. Gorilla versus a polar bear. Sponsored by Empire Fence and Netting on 937 the ticket and the ticket FM.com. Welcome back 
back in. It's the happy hour. 93.7 The Ticket. Ticketfm.com. Here we are on the stream as the Royals decided to be a good baseball team these last couple of evenings. Took them long enough. They rolled it. It's took them a few years. Hello. I got the over. Did you really? Smart. <laughs> Hello, I'm sure, they hit, I'm sure they hit that already. <laughs> I would be interested. Are you to see. sure it was the athletics is the one that you should be worried about? Yeah, no, I'm not worried. I took the under. Uh-huh. Hold up. We can, we can get an MLB standings update here. It's time for the yeah. athletics update. Uh, well, while we're on that, Rico, remember yesterday when I helped you actually create an MLB.com Whoa. account? Yeah, jokes on you. <laughs> Tried logging you get on my phone. Won't let me. Dang it. I, I did something for you. I was gonna I was gonna do the beat the streak <laughs> finally because it wouldn't let me log. Yeah, so remember what we we're gonna do beat the streak, Nick? Yeah, I've been trying to create an MLB.com account since then, and it was not letting me do it until it. until Austin was right next to me, and then it went through. Mm. So it's on my laptop, yeah. To which I can't find my charger now. Um, but I tried logging in on my phone, and it's just like error. It like can't log me in. How are you a father? Great question. I, I mean, it's it's like Rachel's a mother of three. <laughs> Literally, though, she is. I so because she's think, she's think about also what he said. He's like, I'm gonna go home and play video games while I drink beer. beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is this before, I gotta, no, is I gotta, before or after you put the kids down? After. Okay. <laughs> and the kids to bed. Good. Uh, and will be a, a, a standings update. The Athletics, four and eight, one spot ahead of the Houston Astros. That's why the Rose are winning. I think they so can much. get to six next year. Make a bowl game. I think so too. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> Tricky, how's it going, man? You're dumb. Good, man. It's yeah. freaking windy. You hanging out? Um, trying. You hang, see the single axle? I see you guys are on it. Is it tasty? It's good. It's delicious. Nick, how would you describe it? Uh, as you would say, Stricky, a patio pounder. It's a patio pounder. This is what where we, is it from? Uh, it is from the Salt Mine City Brewery in David, David City, City, Nebraska. Love it. May be coming close to ninety three point seven the ticket soon. <laughs> coming what? Confirmed, but not un. But also, is it, is it, is there, it's, from Matt, it's from Matt Davidson. It is not. No, it is not. <laughs> it is not. No, sir. It is not. <laughs> um, <laughs> single axle, delicious though. Mm. Uh, great, great idea. If I mean for you specifically in your location of the world, wherever you that wanted, may be. If, if you wanted to go on your back patio, watch guys tee off. This is what you would want to watch. Yeah. <laughs> As you your back house, up to a golf course. Your house backed up to Augusta, <laughs> right? Is that? Uh, no. The, oh, the true. lies that that's we true. tell that's on true. the 937 the ticket. That's, that's your third house, right? Nick, you're unbelievable right now. Am, am I the only one that did a master's pool? Here? I never, we never got you it. never, yeah, you didn't put it out. Well, I did one. Uh, I, I So I'll, I'll run I'll through it. You'll win your own money. I also don't pay attention to the masters until like late Saturday. Oh, late Saturday. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'll tell you this. Um, so currently I am. We need to have a ticket in masters. this in this one. Oh, I, like an actual master, like a tournament. See, here's I, the thing. I would so lose. without Jake Sorensen, he's know? only an observer. Dude, I would know? lose. Hey, Stricky, hard. Stricky, can you tell me what this says right here? What, what rank that says Nick is? Uh, number one. Number one. There it is. Uh, out why? Out of one. one. Uh, <laughs> how do you get to be number one? Number one, one out, out of the kitty pool. It's individual. Out of twenty six. How do you get to be number one? Well, you know why? what is the what is the criteria? So, so two is not a winner, and three nobody remembers. No, so the way that he, this works is there's on ours is there's six tiers of golfers. You get to pick one golfer from each tier. Mm-hmm. My tier six pick is Ryan Fox, who is currently leading the Masters. Ryan Fox, mm. nice. incredible. Ryan Fox, like swiper no swiping. Ryan Fox, <laughs> no Ryan Fox. <laughs> A golfer. Swiper, um, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> by, sa- by, sa- by Saturday, what do when I you know start paying you're attention. Talking about? By Sunday. Story Explore. No, no. Oh, I have no idea. Austin, by Saturday, when Austin starts paying attention, you're going to hear him say, Oh, oh man. <laughs> I never watched Dora the Explorer. <laughs> Did you watch Diego? Go Diego, no, go. I did not. Oh, yeah. man. So you don't know about boots? No. You don't know about the backpack? Backpack, backpack, I, backpack, backpack, backpack. I did not have Disney Channel. I'm the map. I'm the map. My, I, I'm I told the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Even I knew that. I, didn't, I don't know that one. But I uh, I grew up. My the, the, the highest channel we got was Channel 23. I'm pretty sure Dora that was you could, Disney. You could Dora watch. Channel. You could watch. Nebraska Westland football replays on. I'm there. like 95 oh, sure Dora okay. was. I, watched, on I grew up. I grew up watching a lot of Nebraska Westland football replays on on TV. Normally nice. they play on Channel 22. Mm-hmm. They did back in the day. Channel 22. 
I watched a lot of them against Morningside, against Dort. Or mm-hmm. not Dort. Uh, Doan. Doan. Dort College. Doan. Morningside. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones that Nebraska Westland played against some other teams. Uh, this is bad because one of my buddies is a coach for Nebraska Westland baseball. But they've played Concordia at all? I, I don't know. I don't know. That was back when they were, they were pretty good back then. I mean, they were decent. It was, you know, a lot of replays on Monday night. I guess they're D3, not NAI. So, yeah. But, um, gentlemen, Stricky, here's a question. This one is really the only one that uh, you're the only one that this really applies to. Would you notice if 16 million was gone from your account right now? There's a that's a fact. <laughs> Doubt it. So, you guys 16 million? <laughs> so, yeah. uh, hey, so, you, hey, so think hey, you wouldn't no. know it was gone, which means it had to be there in the first place. No, I, I, said, I do I need said, to get, just since you said that, I do need to get one shout out. I said, shout I out said, to Marty Levinson. Yeah. Marty Levinson, former Bellevue West guy. Yeah. Played at Carney. He's the new head coach at Carney. Yeah, UNK, baby. So, I just wanted to give him a shout out real quick. Congratulations, my friend. Um, it's been a long time. He's been grinding. Yeah. Man. He's been working hard in the Junco ranks and uh, to get back to his alma mater. Shout out. Do you, think come we, back? do you think we can get a uh, UNK jersey delivered? I'm going to see if he can get me something. Please and thank you. No, me? You? Me. I'm going to hit up Ryan. Get, I'm going to hit up Ryan Held and see if we can get one of those UNK helmets because they're getting, they're looking at some new designs. They look pretty sweet. Tell I'll, I'll even take one of the old ones. Yeah. What do they, what do, they do with them? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm it's gonna awesome I'm gonna trash. hit up the people that I know see I, if I can get one. We got space right here for it. Here's exactly. the thing. Here's the thing is is I'm I'm a staple in Carney. You're not. Shut up. I had a heck of a weekend in Carney. Yep. He thinks yeah, it's so great. Is that when you went out to Gothenburg? <laughs> that is when I went out yep. to Gothenburg. <laughs> it's great golf out in Gothenburg. Great golf. It was it was awesome. We were there for a uh, team a team Jack event. Yes, team Jack mm. event. Speaking of golf, great the, uh, job. When we I ended up, it was uh, me, Ad Raff, and Tony Veland. TV and we were all out there and it was uh, it was interesting week. Tony Villain TV is he a streamer? <laughs> <laughs> TV. Strick, I meant to ask you yesterday, but I'll ask you with these guys around. You hit a hole in one in your life? Yes. Really? Yes. You know what? Probably down in Dallas. One. I would assume it was in Dallas. Was anybody there to witness? Yes, I was playing. We we have a group called the BGA. And um, it's what, what like does it stand for. It's <laughs> don't worry, <laughs> don't worry about it. It's like it it's like a Strickie? bunch of ex. X guys, ex, I said ex, like ex basketball players, so like seven things in my head. Football players um, is is you know some guys in the community, and we get together and we mm-hmm. we play. And I hit one, and and I go up there, and I'm like, dang, I know I hit that at the flag. You, you know, it's one of those. Was it? I didn't know. Oh, because it, it, it had to be about 100, team. maybe 180, 190, kind of cloudy, so yeah. couldn't really see it. And I, I mean, I go up and I'm like, no, man, there's no way. Because, you know, so there's times when you hit a golf ball and you freaking hit yeah. it on the dial. And you're like, yes. And it's 10 yards over well, the green. I'm trying like, to think I hate of, that. What's the, what's the golf course trick? It's actually just south of Kearney. Um, tell, no, no, I, okay, wish, I wish we had the text line. Um, text line now? Done. No. Well, well, just with the stream, it's oh. it's less active. Um, a Worry Dunes. A Worry Dunes. Have you ever mm. played a Worry Dunes? No. Okay, so it's just south of Kearney. There's a short par three. It's probably about 125 yards in there from there. And it was it was on that same group. Myself, AD, and Raf all landed within about three feet of the hole. Mm. It, and not nobody one, did pull. Not one single guy was able to hit the hole in one. It was oh. on a Sunday morning, though. So for the sake of all of us, it's probably best that we didn't because then we're, <laughs> we're stuck in Carney another night. <laughs> but, oh, darn. I love Carney. If there's Carney any place, loves me. If there's any place to be stuck in, it's Carney. Yep. Uh, what's coming up on Great the show today, gentlemen? Um, we will go through Scott Drew staying at Baylor, yes. and Dan Hurley just told Kentucky no. Ooh, so what does what does the list look like? Um, right. OJ passes away. What, what's his legacy? Right for a guy that didn't grow up with OJ, <laughs> like who was OJ <laughs> football player? Say without smiling. <laughs> for a guy that didn't really grow up with OJ, know who he was as a football player. What's his like on field? Like, he's like, how good was he actually? Yeah. Um, do that with Strick. The Athletic also went through and ranked every Power Four conference team mm-hmm. um, in terms of recruiting potential. Gotcha. So where do Big Ten teams fall on that? And then the Ohio State and Alabama spring games are this weekend. Which yes. one are you more interested in watching? There it is. Good stuff coming up. It's Thirsty Thursday, which we know Strick is enjoyable. <laughs> started uh, early. Loves it. We started early on the happy hour Here. with the single axle American lager from David City, Nebraska. Salt Danny mine. Boy. Salt Mine City Brewery out there in David City, Nebraska, and the Danny Boy, the Irish Red Ale 
get yourself some of that and more over there in David City. We're out of here. Talk to you guys tomorrow on The Block. Coming up next. Adios. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. Unearth the secret to long-lasting tires at Treads Central Tire Pros, a league apart in commitment, service, and expertise. This isn't just about rubber meeting the road, but trust, safety, and surety converging in perfect harmony. This is where expectations are exceeded every time. Make your appointment today at Tread Central Tire Pros, just south of Cortland on Highway 77, or visit our website to explore our services. Remember, when it comes to tires, choose Tread Central Tire Pros, because we tread differently. At Doan University, we build leaders, and that means...